Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to tape a hockey stick blade properly. This will be a beginner tutorial, so let's get right into the video. All that you need is some hockey tape and a hockey stick blade. Now this is the blade of the hockey stick. It's essentially the part that touches the ground, okay? There's gonna be a side that's curved away and a side that's curved towards you. Basically, that, that sounded wrong. That didn't even make really full sense because you can look at it either way, right? Whoa, I almost hit myself in the face. There's gonna be a side that's sort of curved um, where the puck touches and a side that's curved where the puck does not touch regularly. You can, you know, touch the puck with either side of the stick, but this is the most commonly uh, touched side of the stick when it comes to the puck making contact with the stick. This is the side that you want to place more emphasis on. Obviously this side matters too, but really this side matters 99% of the time. Now, there are different methods for taping a hockey stick blade. I'm going to show you the most simplistic one. There are um, <clears throat> personal preferences that come into play as well. Some people will tape, you know, the, the edge over here. Some people start their tape here. We'll, we'll only tape the middle. Some people will go all the way through the entire thing. It's up to you. I'm going to show you how I'm going to tape my son's hockey stick. It's a short stick, in case you're wondering. Um, it's, it, you know, this is the length of the stick. It's not my own stick. It's the stick for my son. I actually never played hockey as a kid really competitively. I just played on the street with my friends and shinny and stuff like that. So I wasn't really excited exposed to it, but I did learn a lot now that my son's into it. So um, yeah, like I said, I just want to show you the process for taping the stick. Essentially, you want to get your hockey tape and I do apologize for the long intro. It's longer than I wanted it to be, but what are you going to do? Okay, now I recommend that you start on the side that does not make contact with the puck as often. I recommend that you do that simply because um, if you mess up, it's on that side, right? Really, really easy. So you want to take your hockey tape. Okay, and the, you want to figure out where you're going to start it, but I like to start about an inch and a half from the edge of the blade. And you're going to take that hockey tape and you're going to just tape it in the middle here somewhere. You're going to start your hockey tape in the middle, not on the tip over here because then it'll come off more easily. In the middle, okay? And you want to do one straight wrap around. So I'm just going to wrap it around just once straight, not on an angle, but just straight around once or even twice. That's going to hold the hockey tape in place. Now at this point, what you want to do is you want to start overlapping about halfway um, through each strand. So basically, through each strand that I wrap, I'm going to overlap halfway. So I'm going halfway onto the next strand now, as you can see. Halfway onto the next strand, I've done that, as you can see. And then we're just going to continue wrapping um, all the way to the other side of the stick, continuing about halfway overlap with each strand, okay? If you have an extra little piece of sort of uh, hockey tape that's hanging off, you're gonna wanna cut that off. Don't try and rip it because it'll just go all the way around. You're gonna wanna cut that off at the end, okay? But I'm gonna leave it because there might be more because it depends on the tape and stuff like that, okay? So we're just overlapping and I'm gonna stop about an inch and a half, same distance, from the other end. And it's a matter of personal preference, but what you wanna do is you want to try and do without making any mistakes. You can back off and redo it if you make a mistake, but you, the tape will lose some of its adhesive qualities. So if you do make a mistake, you know, you want to try and fix it as early as possible, okay? Now, I'm going to go a little bit further. We're going to go, like I said, about um, an inch and a half. See, I messed up there, but I backed it off a little bit and I fixed it, okay? We're going to go about an inch and a half from the other end of the stick. And it's just personal preference. Now my son is learning to play hockey now. It's his first year. So that's why I'm going so close to the end over here because I want him to have the best grip of the puck, the best chance to learn how to handle the puck. You know, and I want, this is gonna to be touching the ice. He's still learning how to skate properly. So I want him to have the best chance of success. So I'm gonna give him, you know, a little bit of extra length of tape, okay? Now, when you're done, I'm gonna end up, I want you to end on the back. I'll call it the back of the stick as well. And I want you to, and the tape in the middle, not on the edges over here, but in the middle. So I'm gonna actually cut it. You can rip your hockey tape, but I'm gonna cut it. And I'll show you where I'm ending it over here. You see, when I finish taping, right over there, I'm ending it in the middle. It has the best chance of staying on for longer. Now there is this piece, I'm gonna just rip it off until it stops right there. There was a little bit more, more attachment, so I just ripped it off till it stopped, and I'm gonna cut it off, okay? I'm gonna cut it off right over here. And we are good to go. Now, you can use wax. And like I said, a lot of hockey tape does this. It's really just 
the, the diff different tapes, different qualities, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can put wax on your stick, and if you put wax on your stick, that'll prolong the life of the tape. It's just a matter of personal preference. I will be doing a video in the future on waxing versus not waxing a hockey stick and go over the pros and cons, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it up to you to do the research. Um, it's your own personal preference, but that's essentially it. As you can see, we've now taped the hockey stick blade properly, and I did it for beginners, a beginner tutorial. I didn't do anything advanced. There's like advanced techniques that you can use, sort of do things, diff different things with the tape beforehand and after, but you know, and you could tape the tip over here, but really that's up to you. And I wanted to keep this very simple for beginners. I also did previous videos on how to size and cut a hockey stick, how to size it and t told you how to cut it, how to do the grip on it. So stay tuned for those. And if, you, if you're interested in those, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I got lots more hockey videos coming. Now that my son is playing hockey, um, and I'm sort of teaching him stuff uh, I figured I'll make videos teaching you all as well too so hit the subscribe button if you want to uh, tune in for those videos in the future as well and that and other videos these ones I already filmed they'll be released around this date give or take when you see this um, but those other videos other hockey tutorials I have lots planned like probably well over 50 that I just planned out last night um, that will be, be released in the future. So subscribe and stay tuned for those. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm sorry. That's a new trick. Maybe I'll do that. Hockey stick tricks. You know, I was never good at hockey playing, but in terms of stick tricks, because I'm a drummer, I got my drum set in here actually in this room, my electronic drum set. Because I'm a drummer, I'm good at doing all sorts of stick tricks um, that from, you know, drumsticks to sort of translate to hockey sticks. But yeah, anyways, that's truly it. I'm going to stop talking about the tricks and the future videos and we're going to end this one. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.